Fellas, good morning. Let's go to the uh, first piece of mail. Uh, looks like it's uh, female relationships with her father. What's up, Supreme? What's up, Real? I've got a question about a topic you covered in one of your recent videos about getting a girl's life story. You mentioned that the relationship she has with her father is very important to understand. You know, a lot of women end up dating their fathers, you know, in, in a lot of ways. Uh, I'm a lot like Jovina's father, even though we're different nationalities. He goes, uh, but it was in the last few seconds of your video. Yep. I've been thinking about it and I've noticed that a lot of females I've involved with have major father issues. Either they don't get along with him at all, or they have never have never met him. Okay, that type of female, yeah. How can a player adapt this adapt this game to also attract girls who have a good relationship with their father? After all, it's another market of females and one I would like to advertise in. Well, you you seem to attract the ones who have issues with their fathers. Um, all I can tell you is that when I took care of my own issues inside of myself, the women who had good relationships with their fathers started showing up in my life. So look inside yourself, Rio, and see what's going on there. You know, I had a, I had a, a childhood of uh, physical abuse and mental abuse, and I started working on that. Because I noticed I attracted women who also had that type of thing or uh, bad relationships with their parents and stuff like that, like I had, except I had a good relationship with my father. Okay, So start working on that and uh, other types of females started showing up in my life. That's the law of attraction version of that. And that's the only way that I know that I've dealt with that because I never actually went after uh, girls. You can't tell. How are you going to know? Uh, when you first when you first see a girl in a club, whether she has a good relationship with her father or not, you know. All right, let's go to the next one. Regarding another seduction expert, you may know, yes, Jeff the Colossus. Uh, I looked at John Atlantis, and obviously, Jeff, you're hurting inside. That's why you're searching for and for stuff like this guy. So um, good luck in your search. Uh, this guy came up under the scam artist. He's a professional marketer, uh, John Alanis. He was a direct mail marketer, and that's what he is. Okay, and I looked at his ad, and that was a damn good ad. He's good at what he does, which is marketing. Public speaking. Hello, uh, master. <laughs> What's up, Cody? Any tips on public speaking? How to relax in front of the public? How to make them interested in what I present? Asking them questions or giving them something to write? Slash do is good. Anything you can consider is important. Well, let me know what the event is, uh, what you're speaking on. One way to, to relax in front of uh, the public is to practice and really know your speech. But also, you want to do what's called split focus concentration. This is how I actually prepared for acting roles. I've been in commercials also here in my town. Uh, David Allen Associates, which is a uh, accident injury attorney. I was uh, one of their people that did a couple commercials for them. Anyway, what I did I read a book on acting and public speaking, combined the two, and they had this exercise called split focus concentration. And you're supposed to do a physical exercise while you, while you uh, practice your speech. Okay? What that does, it will allow you to free trapped energy inside your body so that you can relax while you're doing your speech. It sets the tone for it. Uh, for example, I did jumping jack. I did a little aerobic routine, jumping jacks. Uh, walk forward, walk back, jacks, uh, knee raise, knee raise. You know, I made it into a routine while I was rehearsing the speech. It also ingrained the speech real fast in the memory because I was activating other parts of my brain and then still, still trying to memorize the speech. Okay? And when I stood up, started delivering speeches, uh, I was extremely relaxed. 
That's how I was able to win, win 13 competitions in a row at Toastmasters. Then I went on to start winning division level stuff. When I hit the ground at Toastmasters, I hit the ground running. I was, I was ready for it. Okay, now uh, let's see how to relax. Um, how to make them interesting what you present. If you deliver it in a certain way, you know, an exciting way, some of them might become interesting. It depends on what you present. If, if you're a computer programmer, as I used in my show this morning, and you're talking to a bunch of jocks, you know, you got to find a way to make it interesting to the jocks, basically. So you got to take that boring subject and find a way to make it interesting to people. So you got to step inside their head and think from their point of view. So what would they want to hear about it? All right. Good luck to you on your speech. Sex. What's up, Smokes? Hey, player, I was having sex, and after getting the girl off a few times, she started pushing me out when I would get too fast or keep going. Oh, you were trying to fuck like a rabbit, huh? I, 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 I don't like fucking like rabbits. You know, just pounding it. That, that's irritating to some girls. You know, some girls like guys to be smooth, okay, and have some class and skill about them, all right? Instead of just bam, 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 pounding the pussy. I don't understand that going fast thing. I, I never have. Never have I understood that. I'm not trying to put you down, but I, I'm kind of like on the same page she is. Anyway, I wanted to keep hitting it so I could bust but she would kind of stop when, whenever I would get going again. Okay, have you ever tried to do it slow and look at her? And then try to connect to her while you're doing it? Try, to, I mean, really look at her as a person and look her in the eyes and try to feel her. That is more powerful than that super cheap superficial thing that you guys do. Fuck like goats and rabbits. But a few months ago, I had no bitches now. I have at least five on my team, good. Hitting me up all the time trying to hang out. Thanks, man. Well, I'm glad you're having success with them. Let's teach you how to improve your, your fuck skills, though. And thanks to your game, you taught me bitches always think I'm the smoothest motherfucker around. I mind fuck bitches a lot. It's fun, laugh my ass off. Yeah, but you got to be careful with my mind fucking ebook using that stuff because it will make them crazy. It, it will make them crazy. You guys have no idea, no idea. Women coming through your window, women kicking your back door in, it will make them crazy. You guys think I'm joking or lying about this shit? I've experienced this in my life. I've experienced this, okay? But congratulations on the success, Smokes. That makes me feel good. Except I kind of feel sorry for the females out there. One to two shots of alcohol by my Rocketeer. Is it okay to drink one or two shots of alcohol when at the club? Yes. That's what I do is I have uh, no more than two drinks. And I space them out. I don't sit there and hold a drink forever until it's turned into water, you know. Um, I do like a good rum. I like the taste of it. But um, I do space them out because I know what can happen. I've been drunk before. And it, it's not a fun feeling for me. I know there are some people that like to go out and just get drunk. That doesn't feel good to me. I don't like that vomit stuff. Uh, I was dieting a long time ago, and I went out with some clients, and they had sangria, and I was, you know, I had been dieting. I was getting super lean, and then they went and, and had Long Islands. Long Islands just go down like tea, but they fuck you the fuck up. It was the worst I've ever been. I was vomiting in the nightclub. I was passed out in the streets. The Mac makeup girl had to come pick me up. I'd vomited everywhere. She drove me home. I got out of her car, her car. I crawled on the fucking ground to go up into my home. 
I crawled because it hurt to stand up. I had alcohol poisoning, basically, and it lasted for about a week and a half. I still would stand up and I'd get dizzy. Uh, I vomited all over the place. Um, I passed out in the bathroom. You know, she, luckily she stayed, stayed there and watched over me. Uh, I couldn't go train my clients or teach a class the next day. And uh, that was enough for me. I was in my 30s and that was enough. That one time was good. I'm good, dog. All right. Spirit Quest, Pigeon Toad Shaldy. What's up, Player Supreme? I wanted to know if Spirit Quest was on a DVD or something. It seemed like a real interesting show. Uh, it's available here. I believe it's still available here at the local, just Google uh, Channel 6 Sacramento. And they're the ones who sell it. They have the rights to that. So I'll probably be taking that, that down, actually, uh, real soon. That particular video that has that uh, on there. Uh, yeah, so it's there at the TV station. They use that to, as a promotional. Every now and then when they need, need to raise money, they'll use that to uh, that show to uh, uh, raise money with. In fact, we went back and did a special promotional show on it where there was uh, some local news person was interviewing me and stuff like that. Yeah, I think about all the things I've done with my life. I've had a fun life. Even now, even though it's kind of boring uh, being with just one person, it's extremely boring. But I, I am into the internet marketing stuff. So I'm learning stuff. I'm constantly doing something and learning. You know, I love to learn stuff. I was actually still going to college when 9 11 happened. Uh, I was taking, I think I was taking a debate class. Yeah, a debate class. And uh, I was taking a couple of phys ed classes. I, I love going to school. I love going to college or whatever. You know, it's, it, it's just something I enjoy doing. I love learning things. So I don't know what you guys are into or what your lives are like out there. But if you look at how time passes, five years is going to pass no matter what you're doing. If you look back, to five years ago, five years passed. So in that time period, you could have gotten an entire degree. You could have learned a new skill. You could have applied yourself and learned something new. You know, there's a fella on YouTube, I won't mention his name. He's a very light-skinned mulatto. Uh, he I guess he has a Jewish father and he hates Jewish people, but he's into that magic and stuff like that. He's trying to be a, become a leader, you know, by making these slick videos and stuff. And he was on this uh, uh, black folks channel I was, or site I was on, one of those uh, hate whitey sites. And um, uh, he's trying to preach about not going to college. I just saw his video last night. It just showed up on my channel. I'm like, what the fuck? How, how can you, you say that? Well, there's so many things to learn out there. I'm, I'm not down for everything, especially in the history, because there's so many goddamn erroneous shit. But there's other stuff I can, I can learn. You know, the history I'm teaching myself from real black scholars. But because I'm into African history, if you saw, you know, my little video, uh, Spirit Quest, I talked about from Africa to blah, 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 right? So from Africa to Asia. And Asia, Europe used to be called Asia. Anyway, so I'm, I'm, I'm about learning things. And you should never want to stop learning, fellas in your lives. There's always something you can learn. And then I like to apply what I learn. I don't like the knowledge just sitting there. I need to apply it. That's why I like internet marketing. I can learn something, then apply it. I've just built two membership sites. I learned how to clone a site and I'm learning. Peace.